on the trainers having a pretty handy run at the moment so uh, he uh, certainly is a major threat here he got out the 360 and now he's back in the 320 panther paul so they have really backed the first two on fixed odds four and seven they're now equal favorites near the two they've backed all in green light lured travels all set for the fourth event ready Racing and nice your way off the inside. Lightning Grey with Panther Paul looking for the lead. The third Stormy Pedro. Tuna Fishers wide around Stilton Pirate. Dreaming Bucks. Uh, next in the field then was spotted Charm. Lightning Grey in reverse. Looks like might have gone amiss and juice back with it. On the corner now. And Tuna Fish and Stormy Pedro went very wide. Panther Paul was left in front. But Stormy Pedro and Tuna Fish are grabbing him. But Panther Paul hangs on and beats Stormy Pedro and Tuna Fish. Just behind him, Dreaming Bucks. Stilton Pirate. A break in the field then was spotted charm and the other two tailed off lightning gray and juice in the time at 22 and 88 panther paul looked like he was going to get run over the last 30 meters but he's held on the win it and only just by bella infrared out of uh Waxy. he's owned and trained by neville brown who's having a pretty handy run at the moment number three second stormy pedro jeffrey allerman and seven tuna fish the outside paul ballantyne has run third and I'd say they'd only be about a neck ahead thereabouts the margin. So it was a very close finish, a half length in favour of the winner. In fact, a half length by a half, half either way. 22.88, the time recorded, 22.88. Sectionals there was 6.50 and 16.19. The run home of 6.69, the winner at 2.61.20. So we set the speed in front. Stormy Pedro and Tuna Fish went very wide on the corner, but they balanced up and they looked like they were going to run over the top of Panther Paul, but he has prevailed. So it's start number five he breaks through four three seven and eight after race number four